agreement for rent. Imagine you want to rent a condo, or you want to rent an apartment, or you want to rent a house. Most of the time you will get an agreement. Or if you want to rent a car, if you want to lease a car, most of the time you will get the agreement. The question is, what's the difference between those agreements? And what can you do and what can you not do? In this video, I'm going to tell you what, those, uh, what the difference are between those agreements. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. And I'm going to show you how it works and when you get an agreement, what you should and uh, shouldn't put in it. The thing is, I'm not going to discuss everything in the de details, but I'm going to show you a couple of examples. If you have questions about those things, or if you have questions about the agreement for rent or anything else, feel free to contact me. Let's begin. Agreement for rental. It's important to know what kind of agreement you made with someone. If you make an agreement with someone, most of the time you put it in a contract. And if you lease something or if you rent an apartment or condo, you put the agreement that you make with the landlord in a contract. Or if you are the landlord, the agreement that you make with the attendant, you put the agreements in the contract. In this video, I want to show you what's important to put in a contract. I'm also showing you what's working and what won't work if you forget it. So this is a contract. When you make a contract, it's important to know what kind of contract it is. For example, is it in a lease contract or is it a contract for um, hiring a uh, condo? Those are two different things. For example, if you lease a car, then you lease a car. If you rent a house, then you rent a house. Those are two different things. But the contract is almost the same, but not always the same. Because you are talking about something that you can drive and you're talking about a home. Those two are two different agreements. So remember that. Let's talk about renting a house. If you rent a house from a landlord, then you have an agreement with the landlord. If you are renting a car, if you are renting a car, most of the time you have a lease agreement. A lease agreement is almost the same as a renting agreement, but it's not always the same. I'm going to show you. I want to show you a couple of agreement that you can use when you are renting a house. I'm not going to discuss the whole contract with you. I'm just going to show you what kind of things you can expect when you see an agreement if you want to rent a house for someone else. So let's go to the agreement. This is the agreement, and it's important to know what kind of agreement you are signing and what's in the agreement and these four things are important to know when you put them in an agreement like what does certain terms means in an agreement and also what are you going to rent though? are you going to rent a house are you going to rent a car are you going to lease a car it's important to put these kind of things in the agreement another thing is if you want to renew the lease agreement or the rental agreement how does it work? Oh, these kind of agreements you have to put in a contract. And one last thing, most of the time when you rent something, the landlord of the car owner will ask for this deposit. It's important to put that in a contract. Most of the time people forget it, but put that in a contract, a lot of time it goes wrong with the deposit. So it's really important to know how the deposit works and what kind of deposit are you giving the landlord of the car owner when you want to lease an apartment or a car. These are the four points that I wanted to talk with you about. If you have questions about these points or anything else, feel free to contact me. This is the end of the video. I show you a couple of examples. If you have questions about this or anything else, feel free to contact me. See you in the next video.